This camera can detect impairment in your driving, so if you're under the influence of drink or drugs and you go through one of these cameras, this is going to ping you. A dystopian new UK traffic cameras use AI to spy on drivers inside their cars. You may have never seen one of the new look AI speed cameras. This is a world first and we're now going into the world of artificial intelligence to try and change the way we police the roads forever. What do you think of these new artificial cameras? Jordan, what do you think about these new cameras? Um... What do you think about this new technology? Now we've been out and we've trialled this system now and we've spent a whole evening looking at the alerts and stopping vehicles and seeing which ones are impaired, which ones aren't. And we'll show you some of that as we go through the video. George has also been out to interview members of the public and sometimes some of those people that have been stopped and spoken to by us at the roadside. On December 13th, Owen's team, along with AccuSensus, did an operation to trial the new technology. The cameras are up and running now uh, and we're waiting as the stoppers and the intercept cars um, once the vehicles have been um, highlighted by the cameras. Very new technology, um, but yeah, looking at the iPad, it seems to be looking well, pretty good actually, to be fair. Um, you know, just in briefing, we could see a mobile phone offence and a seatbelt offence as well, just while we were sitting there. So we're here at the Shell petrol station who have kindly let us uh, use their forecourt here because it was raining and very dark down on our original stop site. Uh, or oh, we better move out of the way because they're bringing in another car. And that one went past once, so they've had to bring him back round again. So I think that's the fourth one of this evening so far. The other officers will deal with that one now that it's in and our stopper car is going to go back out and wait for the next one. Now you're probably wondering how these cameras work. Now what they do is they've been up for a couple of weeks now and they are looking at normal driving through the piece of road that the cameras are on. They will then look for any vehicles that are outside of those normal parameters. And when they get that, they will send an alert to our units that are further up the road and say, hey, you might want to have a look at this car here because he's outside the normal parameters of driving. Now you've probably got loads of questions that you want to ask about how these cameras work and I'm not the expert in that but we're really fortunate to have the engineers from AccuSensus who have come all the way over from Australia to talk to us about the cameras and how they work. George has had a fantastic opportunity to speak to them so I'll pass you on to George and the people from AccuSensus. Firstly, I think a really good question to ask, because I'm sure everyone is wondering, is how do these AI cameras detect drivers under the influence? So really, it's about evolving our system to handle more of the fatal fight, right? So we've got speed cameras, which everyone is familiar with, the mobile phone and uh, seatbelt cameras, which kind of introduce that AI and imaging mm -hmm. kind of enforcement. And now we're trying to expand to the other two uh, behaviours, right? which is impaired driving and uh, basically dangerous driving. Mm -hmm. So the AI is a component there basically, which is there to uh, work through the data that comes from the sensors and give us an indication of what it thinks might be abnormal or dangerous behavior based on the sensors and on the system. So it's not just an imaging thing, but it involves other sensors like radars and lidars and things like this, which it collects all that data together. And then from that develops a score to we think this vehicle might be one that is of interest that you might want to have a look at because it's driving in a way which is abnormal or possibly dangerous. How does the system differentiate then between legal and illegal substances when assessing impairment? Yeah, so basically it does not, right? Okay. So it does not make that decision um, because it's not an automated enforcement system. Right? It's a tool that's there to help police to indicate instead of randomly pulling people over or pulling everyone over to target the vehicles which have the highest possibility of possibly driving impaired on an illegal mm -hmm. substance, drink driving and things like this, right? Mm. But it's not there to make a decision, so there's no evidence as such that comes out of the system where someone would take that evidence to court and say, look, this says you were yeah, of impaired or something like that. That's solely up to the police officer. So we now know that the AccuSensors cameras effectively act as a filtering system, but remember, they can't prosecute you directly. But what's going to be interesting is finding out what the public think of these controversial cameras. Well, it's wrong, isn't it? You can't drink and drive because you can cause accidents and kill people. No, I've noticed straight away you have actually bought ciders. So what's the plan with these now you get back into your car? I'm going home and drinking 
at home on my lovely couch. That's the way you should do it. So obviously, with these new cameras detecting people that are on drugs and also alcohol, what do you think about this new technology? Brilliant. Jordan, what do you think? Well, they're there for a reason, right? Okay. I think they're absolutely fantastic. They are scary. Uh, about the... Um, I'm actually an ex-police officer and I have seen the horrors that drink and drive actually does bring. I, I slow down, I don't go on my phone ever, so... It... Let's just hope they work. I absolutely promise you, it doesn't just destroy a person who's drink and driving if they have an accident, it destroys families. Why would you take drugs and then get in your car and drive? It's dangerous. And um, people learn from them. They're, they're good and they're, they're bad, but I guess if people don't have anything that they're doing wrong when they're driving, then they shouldn't really be too worried about them. Now, my team and I uh, supported the Aki Census team on the ground uh, out on the roads. Uh, and the alerts were sent from the cameras to our units on the ground and then the units pulled over the vehicles into the petrol station where we spoke to the drivers. Now off the back of that we did make arrests and people did end up in custody uh, for various impairment offences. Now that gentleman also had other people in his car. Now when you're driving you're responsible for yourself, you're responsible for your passengers, but you're also responsible for every other road user around you. So to be driving a one and a half ton killing machine whilst you're impaired through drink or drugs is really, really dangerous. Now between George and I, we like to bring you videos that are entertaining and informative. And what you get in our videos is stuff that people probably won't see elsewhere. And we're giving you a little bit of an insight into how we work within the roads policing world. Now, if you like the video, then please give us a thumbs up. And obviously we'd love to hear your comments. So please put your comments below. If you're not subscribed, and a lot of people that watch the videos aren't, then we'd really appreciate it if you did subscribe to the channel. And you can also switch on the notifications so you'll know when our next video is released. But thank you for watching uh, and we'll see you in the next one.